Here we have the compressor from the air suspension from my crashed Tesla P100D. Um, it's a bit of a problem. We don't have the key to the car, which means that the car isn't running properly and also it's moaning that it's been crashed, funnily enough. Um, and the car has sat right down on its suspension. The suspension that we tacked back together. I think I've shown you that in one of the other videos. We need to move that car and it's basically dragging in the ground. So, we need to be able to make the car stand up. Now I looked at the wiring diagram. Now let me explain some more. Compressor provides air, which then goes into this little valve block here, which distributes the air. So it's got, I've got these taped up so that they don't get any dirt in them, it's taped loosely. Um, so a pipe to each of the air st struts. So rear left, rear right, front left, front right. Pipe back to the pump and a pipe off to the reservoir. Now I've got the wiring diagram for this and so I know which of these little pins here should actu actuate valves in here in order to make the connection so I could basically just run the pump and stand the corners up. Unfortunately I'm not at all sure what voltage that runs and I don't want to fry it by putting 12 volts on it and it actually wants 5. So I've not really been able to find anything much out about that but I do know that this just runs on 12 volts and I do know that this is 6 mil pipe so I went to my local SMC bought myself a little valve and a little four-way manifold. So essentially I'm going to plug in the suspension to each one of those four and just run the compressor. Now there is also a valve on the end of the compressor for exhausting or for, uh, for pumping. So I've got this set up so that it should pump. So I've got these up to 12 volts so it should run the compressor and open the appropriate valve to blow air out of here. If it does that, I'm in business. I can put this back in the car and stand the car up and then we can push it out of the way. So this is genuinely the first time I've tried my wiring. This is just a car battery, it's got a spot welder on it, don't worry too much about it. So what do we get when I plug this in? Sounds promising. No, oh, I'll just unplug that. Hang on a second. Haven't put a long enough cables on here. And I also haven't put a fuse in these cables, which is very bad practice. So don't copy me. Learn from me if you're going to be messing around with stuff like this. Always think safety first. Right then. Here we go. So that's running. That's blowing. It's not really going to, um, you know, provide enough to run a wind tunnel or anything. But I'm happy with that. That works. Oh yeah. Let's go the other side of the fuse. So 20 amps when it's just running. And then if I turn this and seal it off. Interesting, the current drops. I guess it's pumping a vacuum. So We've made the compressor work on the bench. Let's see if it will actually make the car stand up. So I've got my three remaining air suspension connections in this manifold, which then goes on out to the compressor, reinstalled in the car now. This side here is back onto springs, which is why 
there's no point in connecting it up to the compressor. So, 